Okay, you can see this wave is going towards the right. So that's the direction of energy transfer, and that's the direction the wave is traveling in. So other than the F equals 1 over T formula, another very useful formula is the wave speed equation. Here, V stands for the speed of the wave in meters per second, lambda is the wavelength in meters, and frequency in hertz. In this question, we're asked to calculate the frequency of a radio wave with a wavelength of 5 meters. Assume the radio wave is traveling through the air. Okay, so in this question, you need to know that radio waves are electromagnetic waves. So that means when they're traveling through air, they're going to be traveling at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second. So now we can put this into the equation, where C is the speed of light here. And then rearranging this, we get C over the wavelength equals the frequency. And giving your answer to two significant figures. Now let's focus on the motion of the individual particles in the wave. In your exam, the image won't be moving. And you may be asked to determine the direction in which certain particles in the wave are moving. So in this question, you're asked to determine which direction A, B, and C are moving in. I know that the wave is moving towards the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the wave a fraction of a second after this point that is shown in the diagram. So I'm going to trace it like this. Ever so slightly to the right. Now this will allow me to figure out the direction which uh, A and B have moved. So A has moved downwards, so it's going to be it's heading downwards at the in time shown, and B is clearly moved upwards to occupy, is going to occupy that spot. That's how the wave moves forward. Now C is actually not moving. The reason why C is not moving is because it's reached its maximum and it has to stop and before it starts to head down. So it is about to head down, but the, at the instant that's shown, C is going to be stationary.